Over the years, the retail landscape has undergone significant changes, with some businesses struggling to adapt to evolving consumer preferences, while others face challenges from discount stores and online sales. Sadly, many once iconic retailers are now mere distant memories. In today's video, we'll take a nostalgic look back at some popular stores that have vanished. Mervyn's, launched in 1949 in San Lorenzo, California, thrived in the 1970s but faced challenges when expanding beyond California, leading to nationwide closures in the early 2000s. The company filed for bankruptcy in 2008, highlighting the struggles of a mid-priced chain that once enjoyed popularity. The closure of Mervyn's stores marked the end of an era for those who cherished the brand's presence in the retail landscape. Marshall Fields, originating in Chicago in 1852, grew into a Midwest-centered chain with a lavish flagship store. In 2006, the chain was acquired by Macy's and underwent a renaming. The flagship store, adorned with gorgeous clocks, a Tiffany ceiling, and iconic placards across 73 acres of floor space, was a symbol of elegance. However, the acquisition marked the end of the Marshall Fields legacy, leaving behind memories of a grand retail experience. Montgomery Ward & Company, founded in 1872, began as a mail-order business. Despite growing to over 500 locations, the company faced bankruptcy in 1997, leading to the closure of its stores by 2001. The name was later relaunched as an online company in 2004, representing a shift from brick-and-mortar retail to the digital realm. The resurrection as an online entity showcased the enduring spirit of the brand in adapting to changing times. Kaufman's, established in Pittsburgh in 1871, evolved into a chain with nearly 60 stores in the East. Macy's acquired and rebranded the company in 2006 with the original flagship store closing. The closure of Kaufman's flagship store represented the end of a chapter in Pittsburgh's retail history leaving behind memories of a store that had been a staple for generations. Kresge, founded by Sebastian S. Kresge in 1897, grew to 745 stores by 1935. In 1962, the company entered the discount market and opened the first Kmart outside Detroit. The remaining Kresge stores were sold off by 1987, marking the end of the traditional five-and-dime model. Kmart, a descendant of the Kresge legacy, faced its own challenges in later years, highlighting the ever-evolving nature of the retail industry. Hills Department Store, founded in 1957 in Youngstown, Ohio, became the eighth-largest discount retailer by 1987. However, struggling in the 1990s, the stores filed for bankruptcy in 1995 eventually taken over by Ames, leading to closure by 2002. The rise and fall of Hill's department store reflected the challenges faced by regional discount retailers in the competitive landscape, and its closure marked the end of an era for those who once frequented its aisles. Gimbel's, established in 1842 in Indiana, sponsored the 1920 Thanksgiving Parade in Philadelphia, However, after being purchased by the company that owned Kohl's, Gimbel's closed its doors for good in 1986. Gimbel's held a special place in holiday traditions, known for its role in the classic Christmas movie A Miracle on 34th Street. Its closure saddened those who associated the store with festive cheer and magical moments. The F.W. Woolworth Company, founded in 1879 by Frank Winfield Woolworth, had its roots in Utica, New York, and Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Initially known for selling general merchandise at five and dime prices, the chain rapidly expanded, reaching two to 150 stores by 1929. Despite acquiring other chains, including Foot Locker, Woolworth Variety Stores sadly closed in 1997 marking the end of an era for a company that was once synonymous with affordable goods and friendly service. 
Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the past, specifically the 1970s, to explore how Americans used to do their shopping and where they preferred to make their daily grocery runs. With that in mind, we present to you a countdown of the top 10 supermarkets of that era, which became true symbols of the consumer culture of those times. Let's immerse ourselves in the atmosphere of the 70s and reminisce about the retail giants that captured the hearts of Americans. Get ready to discover the places where shopping turned into real adventures. Let's dive in. Kroger, a supermarket powerhouse, emerged as a retail titan in the 70s and 80s, capturing the hearts of American consumers. With a sprawling network of stores, it became one of the country's largest chains, celebrated for its diverse product selection and enticing promotions. Kroger's commitment to quality, affordability, and community engagement set it apart. Shoppers flocked to Kroger for its innovative approach to customer satisfaction, making grocery shopping not just a routine but an experience. As it navigated through the dynamic landscape of those decades, Kroger's influence and popularity remained steadfast, leaving an indelible mark on the American retail scene. In the 1970s, Safeway, a prominent supermarket chain, enjoyed widespread popularity, renowned for its expansive product range. Safeway emerged as a go-to destination for American shoppers seeking a diverse selection. The supermarket's success was further propelled by its strategic promotions and discount offerings. Safeway's commitment to providing quality products at competitive prices made it a trusted choice for households across the country. With a reputation for innovation in marketing and a keen focus on customer satisfaction, Safeway navigated the dynamic retail landscape of the 70s, securing its place as a leading supermarket and contributing significantly to the era's consumer culture. A&P, the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, stood as one of the oldest supermarket chains in the USA, maintaining its popularity through the 1970s. Renowned for its enduring legacy, A&P was distinguished by its proprietary product brands and affordability. The supermarket chain's commitment to offering quality goods under its own labels resonated with consumers, fostering brand loyalty. A&P's emphasis on accessible pricing further solidified its appeal, attracting a diverse customer base. Despite the evolving retail landscape, A&P's historic presence and dedication to value continued to make it a trusted choice for American shoppers, contributing to its lasting influence in the 1970s. In the 1970s, Winn-Dixie, a widespread supermarket chain, garnered attention for its extensive presence and drew customers with its commitment to low prices and diverse product offerings. Winn-Dixie's strategic focus on affordability made it a popular choice among consumers seeking budget-friendly shopping options. The supermarket's wide range of products appealed to a broad demographic, providing shoppers with choices that suited their preferences and needs. Winn-Dixie's success in maintaining competitive pricing and a diverse inventory during the 1970s solidified its position as a reliable and accessible supermarket, contributing to its sustained popularity and relevance in the dynamic retail landscape of the time. Piggly Wiggly, one of the earliest supermarkets in the USA, maintained its tradition of providing consumers with choice and shopping convenience throughout the 1970s. Established in 1916, it revolutionized the retail landscape by introducing the concept of self-service and pre-packaged goods. Piggly Wiggly's innovative approach allowed customers to freely browse aisles, pick their products, and experience newfound shopping independence. In the 1970s, the supermarket chain continued to prioritize customer satisfaction, offering a wide range of products and maintaining its commitment to convenience. Piggly Wiggly's historical significance and dedication to evolving shopping experiences markets enduring influence on American retail culture. 
Albertsons, a supermarket chain prevalent in the western and northwestern states, gained prominence for its expansive reach and diverse offerings. Established in 1939, it became synonymous with a broad product selection and strategic promotions. Albertson's commitment to providing customers with a wide array of choices and regular promotional activities contributed to its popularity in the 1970s. The supermarket chain's presence in the western and northwestern regions solidified its reputation as a reliable source for an extensive range of products making it a go-to destination for shoppers seeking variety and value during that era. Grand Union, during the 1970s, stood as one of the largest supermarkets on the east coast of the USA, recognized for its expansive presence. It offered a diverse selection of groceries and household items, Established in 1872, Grand Union had a rich history and by the 1970s, it had become a staple for East Coast shoppers. The supermarket's commitment to providing a wide variety of products for both daily needs and home essentials solidified its status. As a trusted retail destination, Grand Union's large footprint and diverse offerings made it a significant player in shaping the retail landscape of its time. Fred Meyer, popular in the Northwest region, distinguished itself in the 1970s by combining a supermarket, department store, and pharmacy under one roof. Founded in 1922, Fred Meyer became a regional favorite due to its innovative retail concept. Shoppers appreciated the convenience of finding groceries, general merchandise, and pharmaceuticals all in one location. Fred Meyer's integrated approach to retail not only simplified the shopping experience but also set a trend for one-stop shopping destinations. The supermarket chain's success in offering a diverse range of products and services contributed to its lasting popularity in the Northwest during the 1970s. Giant Food, based in Washington, D. C was one of the largest supermarkets in the region during the 1970s, serving as a prominent grocery chain since its establishment in 1936. Giant Food attracted customers with enticing promotions and loyalty programs. The supermarket's strategic marketing initiatives and commitment to customer loyalty set it apart. In the competitive retail landscape, Giant Foods' expansive presence and emphasis on customer incentives contributed to its popularity, making it a preferred choice for shoppers in the Washington, D. C. metropolitan area seeking both value and a rewarding shopping experience during the 1970s. Wegmans, a prominent grocery chain, predominantly operates in the northeastern United States but is noteworthy for its commitment. Two high-quality products and innovative customer service. Founded in 1916, it's a family-owned business with a reputation for employee satisfaction. Wegmans emphasizes organic and locally sourced items, boasting an expansive selection of fresh produce, gourmet foods, and diverse international products. Their in-store dining options, culinary events, and emphasis on employee training contribute to a unique shopping experience. The company's consistent recognition as a top employer and commitment to sustainability further solidify Wegman's status as an industry leader. As we conclude our nostalgic journey through the vibrant era of the 1970s, we hope you've enjoyed revisiting the iconic supermarkets that defined American consumer culture. These retail giants not only provided essential goods but also shaped the way people experienced shopping. The 70s were a time of innovation, diversity, and exciting promotions, and these supermarkets were at the forefront of that retail revolution. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane. If you have any fond memories or thoughts about these supermarkets, feel free to share them in the comments below. Until next time, happy reminiscing and stay tuned for more fascinating explorations into the past.